Good evening. A terrifying scene for the family of a Lehigh man as they watch him crash land during a skydiving jump that went horribly wrong. Family says he hit the ground at more than 50 miles an hour. The specialist Dan Rascone spoke exclusively to his brother and sister and joins us live from Intermountain Medical Center in Murray. Dan, earlier you said he's doing remarkably, all things considered. Yeah, that's correct, Dini. A lot of hope from family and friends being felt right here at the hospital. That's what they're telling me, just because of the way he's been able to improve and communicate at times. Pretty amazing when you consider what happened. Feel the rhythm, feel the rhyme. He's an exciting person. It's clear from Austin Measles' Instagram page that he loves to fly. I've never met anyone with so much energy and so much love for life. Jumping out of helicopters, airplanes, and even a hot air balloon. All right, cheers. From skydiving to base jumping to wingsuit flying, he's done it all, making thousands of jumps over the years. I would certainly consider him a professional. Definitely has no fear. But on Saturday afternoon, something went terribly wrong. Austin jumped out of a helicopter, planning to land in a South Jordan park for lunch with family. Everything looked great. Then about 100 feet or more from the ground, things quickly changed. Some sort of air current caught him and it kind of picked him up and threw him down. According to Austin's brother, he was doing an expert maneuver that he's done many times before. Looks as though maybe altitude was perhaps misjudged or wind could have played a factor. The family estimates he hit the ground going about 50 to 80 miles per hour. Austin is in the ICU and in critical condition. Emotions are running high for family and friends. Definitely a lot of hurt, you know, hurt that we didn't know we could experience. Definitely my best friend. Uh, I rely on him. But there is hope. Austin shattered a lot of bones, but didn't break his neck or spine. And his brain seems to be okay. He opened his eyes. He was nodding and shaking his head to yes and no questions. He was moving his hands and his legs. So that's a great sign. Another miracle. Jackson says his brother made a last-minute change before his jump, grabbing a bigger parachute, which actually slowed down his fall. We feel that was a, you know, a miracle in and of itself. Yeah, so the family really holding out hope here. He has undergone several surgeries, and they're hoping that he'll be able to make a full recovery. Of course, it's a little too early to tell. A GoFundMe account has been set up to help with medical expenses. For a link to that, go to our website, ksltv.com. Dini, back All right. to you. We wish him well, Dan.